Hamza Chabayev, are they going to fight? I'm asking you guys the question because I know it's being reported all over that they are. Are you guys aware of the timeline? How did this start? I imagine it was Chemayev. I think this might have even been a DM between the two. Like, Chemayev and Gilbert were talking back and forth and agreed to fight. And I believe one of them screenshotted the message and posted it to the world, and I think that was Chemayev. I know I'm 98% I'm on this one. I think that's exactly how it went, though. Now, all the reporters are reporting not only are they going to fight, they're going to fight in April, but I'm still asking you guys the question, do you think they're going to fight? Because something is going on with Chemayev. I don't know what it is. I've asked the question many times, and I come to you, the Eagles, just in case I miss something, in case I overlook something, or in case you feel that your thumb on the pulse is seeing something and I'm missing it. It's one of those things, but there were no comments by you guys. There was guesses the same as I was making. I was making guesses. I guess it's not going to be Neil Magny. I guess Jeff Neal is interested. I guess Blahal Muhammad has thrown his name in the hat. It was one of these things, but Gilbert Burns specifically is, is the one guy I didn't want Shamayev to fight. I just didn't like that idea, and I think that Gilbert deserves something different. But many people are disagreeing and saying, no, Chael, it should be Gilbert because Gilbert deserves something big and Shamayev is big. Okay. I mean, you, you kind of hoisted me with my own baton on that argument by flipping it on me, and I do see the point. I also cannot argue against Gilbert doing that match if it's the match that Gilbert wants. So I imagine I have to stop, but I don't think that the conversation stops there. I think we're just getting started. Because if I have successfully convinced you something, call it something, is going on with Shemaya, then I don't know that any two names, in this case Gilbert Burns, solves the problem. If we're just looking for someone that can fog a mirror, what was wrong with the name Neil Magny? Or Bahal Mohammed? Or Jeff Neil? I mean, do you see where I'm Going with this? We don't have a ton of clues on Chemayev, but we were told by Dana Chemayev is four fights away from being in there for a world title match. That doesn't have to mean four. About four fights, three is about four. Frankly, two is pretty close to four. Six is close to four. We don't know, but Dana did give us a parameter. And when I heard Dana say four fights, in all fairness, my ears didn't pick up on one, two, three, four fights. What my ears picked on uh, about 15 months. I could be misinterpreting, but that's what I heard. When Dana said four fights, I thought he was saying, hey man, this guy needs at least a year and maybe a little bit more before we have this conversation. That was my takeaway. But as the days keep going on, it doesn't matter if we're a day closer, a week closer, in this case, two and a half months closer, we're still closer. But when I do bring that up, it does have something to do with Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Burns is a top guy. You beat Gilbert, you're going to have everybody's attention. It's the same reason I would predict for you, Chemayev will not be in there with Covington. You beat Covington, you're now the number one contender, but we've got dangling over us about this 15-month period, about this four-fight angle. So I thought it would disqualify those guys. I see those guys as a problem, but maybe they, maybe they don't create a problem. Maybe they solve a problem which is to speed that 15-month-up clock, to speed that four-win uh, clock up. And I just don't know who's holding it up. It just makes me curious. I don't have like an overwhelming point here. There isn't some kind of conspiracy angle. I just am a curious guy. I got to know everything, right? I got to know everybody else's business. And generally, I can stand back just because I understand the sport and the history and the way some of the moves are made. And I can begin to guess and put on my detective hat and generally get right or right in the direction of being correct. I don't know what's going on here. It does not appear by anything that we have seen or heard that Chemayev is the one pumping the brakes. We now have meaningful opponents all spread over the rankings. From Magni to Blahal to Gilbert, you've now covered the spread of the top 15. So if you don't want to put him with the top guy, okay, you can put him with the middle guy. You don't want to put him with the middle guy, okay, you, you can put him with the lower rank. I mean, they've covered the spread. Everything seems to be there. The weight class seems to be very clear, which is 170. That's been clear for about eight months, but that was a big question on Shemayev. What weight class is he going to go? Get him in there. Get him in there quickly. Bounce him up to middleweight. Move him back down to welterweight. As soon as he looked like an actual viable contender, you got to put him in a weight class, start to get him a ranking, start to get him some ranked wins. There's a process and a way to do things. And it looked like at one point we were unclear on what that was going to be. Now it looks like we do have that clarity and that it's going to be at 170 pounds, but we don't have an opponent. I'm light on the idea of Gilbert Burns. I'm light on it. 
I'm light on it because I don't see how Gilbert Burns raising his hand creates anything different from the other three guys that I just named for you. Mohammed, Neil, Magni. I don't see what it is that Gilbert brings to the table that is anything different other than one hell of a big problem to deal with. Gilbert Burns is a straight-up hammer. Maybe Chemayev is too. But I'm still light on the idea. I am. I know you guys are seeing headlines everywhere. Gilbert versus Chemayev in April. I'm here to tell you that's according to Gilbert and Chemayev. I would also remind you, you're going to be very hard-pressed and it's going to be slim pickings to you to give me examples historically within the UFC where fighters and social media, media made fights. That's just not how it works. And the biggest piece of this story that is interesting to me, again, from a purely nosy, being a little bit snoopy, curious standpoint, what is the holdup? Right? For a period of time, we didn't know the weight class. At a different period of time, Shemayev wasn't healthy. Right? He came down. He was sick and ill. These things are behind us. And as the clouds started to part, as the sun started to come through, we're now left with questions, just as many, but they're all new questions. Who, when, where? For a period of time, nobody wanted to fight him. That's what we were all told. Trying to get Chemayev a fight, nobody wants to fight him. Neil Magny stepped forward and proved that that was not so. Lahal Mohammed got some momentum going and said, eh, not so fast. Jeff Neal got a good win under his belt and said, wait a minute, I'm your guy. So the problems that we used to believe that we had to delay the return of a bout contract for Hamza Chemayev no longer exist. New problems appear to exist, but we haven't been told what they are. So I'm going to ask you again. In April, is it going to be Gilbert Burns versus Chemayev, or are we needing to look for something else? 